What's up everyone, it's Lee here, the rental guy, and today we're gonna talk about how I rent pipe and drape. But if I can rent it, you can rent it too. Let's get into it. Whoa. So make no mistake, if you are trying to round out your party rental business, you have tents, tables, chairs, uh, decor, don't sleep on pipe and drape because this is something that people will search out. People search out tents, people search out tables, people search out chairs. Well, uh, backdrops, pipe and drape is one of those things that people search out. So you'll be missing potential if you don't add these to your business. And this is how I do it. See, look at this, this is my website, this is what it shows. Uh, these are the backdrops that I offer. It's as simple as find some photos of some backdrops, put them up on your website and people will book them and then you go buy them. I mean, you can buy a little bit and then you can just keep adding people pre-book backdrops. All you need is some uprights, some crossbars, some base plates and some drape. 2000 bucks, uh, you're probably set. Today, I'm just mucking around in the showroom. Uh, someone needed a quote for a change room. And so I thought I'd test it out inside the showroom just to see what is see-through. And since we have so much light in here, we've got the LEDs in the roof, plus all windows in the front. Uh, it's a perfect place to test the lighting. So right here, I've got one row of uh, full drape. So this is drape fully gathered. Gathered means close together. When it's not gathered, it's more like that, right? So this is one row with the sun shining on it this way, you can't see anything. But if you go around the other way and you see over here, you can easily see in if there's a big source of light behind it. So something to think about. And the way that you can alleviate this is by doing a uh, double rows. So you see, I put a second row here. So you see there how there's double rows and then those are single rows. So there's double. So in behind, there's another row. And you can see how you can see through it there. Well, when you put the second row, you can't see through anything. Uh, pipe and drape is great because uh, brides and grooms want them. So if you're into weddings, then you want to add some backdrops to your website. However, you can buy more and more and more. And then eventually that pipe and drape turns into trade show booths. And so it's a way to level up from weddings to trade shows. And that's kind of my business plan here. So anyways, today we're setting up some backdrops. We're not quite at trade shows yet, but we're at backdrops. Let's do a 20 foot backdrop. So let's grab, what's that? Three, let's grab three pipe and drapes. So three eight foot uprights. And then we're gonna grab two crossbars and then we're going to grab um, three base plates. Okay, so we've got base plates, we've got uprights, crossbars, and then we've got some banjo panels um, of white and black. So we're gonna do 10 feet of black, 10 feet of white. Yeah, exactly. The uprights go that way. And the crossbars just hook into these little slits. Yeah, exactly. Okay. These bars here, they're adjustable from six to 10 feet. So we're going to uh, adjust them out to 10 and then hang them up. No, just all the way. Okay. Okay, so now the drape goes through the loops. So we want to do five drapes on each section because five is when the recommended amount for a 10 foot section so that it's not as see-through so it's more gathered I, I i don't know if they're called white drapes or banjo drapes on our thing but this is so these panels are eight feet tall and then they're about i don't know four feet wide but you want to do many panels so i'll hand them to you and then there's a there's a, a, a loop through there so we'll push just have to slide it on. Yeah. So you unhook it and just slide. Gotcha. Okay. And so banjo is this fabric and it's fire retardant to a certain amount. Like, okay. 
when fire hits it, it kind of just, it doesn't start on fire, it just kind of melts, or just melts, yeah. So lots of people will try to go less than five panels for 10 feet and it's their choice, but uh, always make the recommendation five uh, banjo panels per 10 foot section. And then that way it will get that gathered professional look. Okay, so 10 feet of banjo and then 10 feet of uh, white polyester uh, backdrop and so when you offer these uh, expect brides and grooms to book them to go behind for their head tables and then obviously you can use it for trade show booths afterwards after you've built up your inventory of this stuff and don't think that it won't book because as soon as you throw it on your website people are going to start booking it and uh, for me, I threw it on the website, then all of a sudden, uh, people are requesting more and more and more. And it's like, oh, okay, like you want a trade show booth? It's gonna be this much. So, and if you are really into this stuff, you can start adding things like uh, a second layer, and then you can add fairy lights, and you can add well, a whole bunch of things, right? And uh, the brides love this stuff. So um, I know that ever since I started getting into decor, it started with those love letters and then it went into some arches and now it's pipe and drape. And then because I have all those things, I get plenty of calls for glassware and uh, linens and all sorts of things. So uh, the more you amass, the more the phone calls are gonna start rolling in and pipe and drape is just part of that. So uh, I urge you get into the pipe and drape. Don't sub rent it. I mean, sub rent it if you need, but don't. Right behind me, I have some sheer draping with some fairy lights, some curtain fairy lights there. Um, as you see, they're all kind of um, bunched up into their own little bunches. So once you get them up on the hooks, that's the point where you want to unravel each strand. Um, if you do it beforehand, you're gonna deal with a tangled mess and then clean up is the same way. Uh, when you're taking it down, you roll each strand up and then attach it all the way before you take the lights down or else it's gonna be a tangled mess and then uh, they're no good anymore. Okay, so building this backdrop, it's pretty simple. So I've got two rows of shear, right? So the first row of shear is eight foot tall. The second row of shear is 12 feet tall so that it can uh, drape in uh, on an angle. And so as you see, I've got uh, two crossbars at the top. They're connected like so. And now I just have to weave the drapes into one another to make the awesome backdrop look. Fairy lights is important for backdrops, right? Fairy lights are annoying because they get tangled up. Anyways, I'm untangling fairy lights. So I'm gonna show you the process. If you ever offer pipe and drape, offer some fairy lights and charge a lot for them. They will go out. During lights, they look great on a backdrop and people love to rent them, but you have to charge the price 
to replace them because they break often and people come back, they come back so tangled up that you won't have the time to untangle them. So you have to buy lots of them, but they're lucrative because not everyone offers them for pickup because they're annoying. So uh, here is a kit ready for someone. Uh, it's got all the little hooks needed there uh, to hang it onto the backdrop. It's got, they're all nicely organized and then it's got extra zips so that they can pack it back up. They come in a bag, already ready. And instructions is the important part. And these instructions basically are the curtain light uh, instructions. And then as well as it tags a video to how they're supposed to be done. So there's a video demonstration. It's important to pack uh, as much literature with things as possible so that um, people don't have excuses to opt out of, um, you know, being lazy for packing things back up. So uh, with linens, you know, we've got a sheet for linens. With string lights, we've got a sheet and we're always making new sheets. Okay, so what you wanna do is there's a whole bunch of long little strands. So you just wanna bunch them up into little circles. So the client who returned these last, they clearly, I mean, they did all right, but we have a certain way that we like to have these uh, so that it's not confusing to customers. So each strand that goes down, I just roll them right back up so that they don't get confused on this long run of fairy lights. Okay, now you see everyone is rolled up and they have a green zip tie. Now when they hang them, they can just clip them and let them down. Very simple. Uh, this is the way that you keep them organized. If your clients don't stick to these rules, charge them for a new set because you're just gonna be t untangling forever. Okay, so just grab a regular zip tie and then we'll grab these bunches all in order and just feed them through the middle so that we have one zip tie like this, and then we can just keep feeding them in order, one after one. And there we go, we have one strand of uh, curtain lights, and then we just attach it here. And there we go, now it's organized uh, so that it's not just a big ball. It looks like a big ball, but it's actually a big organized ball. Well, thanks for watching. If I haven't convinced you to go out and buy some pipe and drape, perhaps this video right here will convince you to DIY pipe and drape. You stay classy. We'll see you on the next one.